Welcome back to Optics. Let's discuss some interesting approach of thinking the propagation of light. As with other branches of physics, laws and results can be derived from different perspectives. Remember what I said in the first video about what is nature and how it behaves and how we describe it. Those of you that have taken classical mechanics and are familiar with Lagrangian mechanics have already been exposed to Hamilton's principle that says that the trajectory that an object follows is the one that minimizes the action. Without entering into this principle here, what Fermat's principle states is that light traveling from point A to point B will always follow the path that minimizes the time of flight. If there is only one medium, this path will be a straight line from A to B. But if there is a change of medium, then the path will not just be one single straight line. Because light travels at different speeds in different media, uh, it will travel longer path in the fast medium and a shorter path in the slow medium as compared to just one medium from A to B. Consider just one interface between A and B. Here the trajectory will be split into two straight lines, as we have two homogeneous media. We want to find equations of those straight lines. Basically, we want to find the position of point O, or one of the angles theta1 or theta2. The total time of flight is AO over V1 plus OB over V2. Using Pythagoras here, we write OA as the square root of A square plus X square and OB as the square root of B square plus C minus X squared. Now, what we want to minimize is the time of flight, so we derive time with respect to the distance x that determines the position of, F, of O. Sorry. Allow me a little bit of wibbly wobbly math stuff. This has to be equal to zero. Here I will use the definitions of the sine of theta 1 and theta 2. Sine of theta 1 is x over the square root of a squared plus x squared, and sine of theta 2 is c minus x over the square root of b squared plus c minus x squared. This back to the previous result, and we have this simple equation. If we replace the velocities v by c over the index of refraction n, then we get precisely Snell's law. Ain't that nice? Now, when we have a lens, we know that light from an object that is a scatterer, it is traveling in all directions, travels through the lens and is rejoined again to form an image. In this case, light follows several paths. But the beauty of this is that each ray is following Fermat's principle. Each ray is taking the same amount of time to go from A to B. The ray that travels a shorter path spends more time in the medium with high index of refraction, and the ray that travels a longer path spends less time in the medium with high index of refraction. All rays travel the same amount of time, but each one follows a different path. Nature is fascinating. May the science be with you.